Hello world, this is what bathrooms around the world are like. Next is lots of videos from India. And in India, um, there are lots of buckets thing to wash your bum. Hello world, so in this video, I'm going to show you what an Indian bathroom is like. Namaste world, my name is Sanjana Hedges and I'm from Bengaluru, India. Let's see how bathrooms where I'm from are. All rooms in our house are attached with bathrooms. This is the bathing area. You don't find bathtubs to be popular. Instead, we find it more convenient to draw water using the mug from the bucket and take bath. This is the bathroom for the shower. The huge window, that's the shower, the exhaust, and the toilets in most houses in Bangalore and the rural section, you find it to be placed away from the bathing area. In our house, we have it inside. This is the geyser. The geyser basically works as a kettle. We switch it on, wait for about 15 minutes and we get super hot water. We don't use it much because we resort to the Gujarat boiler, which is another source of hot water. And then it's more conventional, convenient and economically friendly. This is the Gujarat boiler. The fuel to the Gujarat boiler is added over here where we add coconut shells, paper, cardboard and all other domestic waste. It is then lit up using paper so that it's safe. The burnt ashes are then added to our beautiful little garden. And in this bathroom, we have a shower cabin. It consists of a place to keep toiletries, radio, a mirror, a place to sit and enjoy steam baths, hot and cold water facilities. And this is how the bathrooms where I come from are. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye! Hi guys, I'm Tejas from Bangalore in India. To our right, we have a lavatory. And the thing here in India is we don't use paper towels. So instead, we have a hose like this, from which you can spray water to clean yourself. And over here is the shower. You can see that we have a body jet. One, two, and three of those. Above, we have a shower. And, well, we don't use the shower a lot. So, here in India, we use a bucket, which is over here, and a mug to wash ourselves up. Hello world, where I'm from in India, this is how bathrooms and washrooms lie. Here is the wash basin we have. And if we go to the bathroom, here is the bathroom. Most, mostly Indians have this type of bathrooms. This is for bathing, this is step and soap, buckets and all that, shampoos. This is for water, if you don't get here, water is very scarce. So. And this is the toilet. Here we have typical Indian toilet. This is how a toilet looks in India. I also want to say that Aiko Chan is very cool. She's very cute. I like her. She's very cute. And Shin is smart kid. Plus, Greg is very cool dad. Cool, cool dad. Always supporting the children. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Next is Naomi from Israel. And they have a shower, but there's only just a curtain to stop the water from going anywhere. Yeah, and there's no, f well, no um, floor barrier thing. Yeah, there's no barrier on the floor, so the yeah. water can just kind of go everywhere, so. Yeah. So if we go over here, first we can see the shower. And if you look at the floor, you'll notice that there's no step up or down and there's no sort of glass surrounding the shower. All we have is a shower. Uh, curtain. So every time you have a shower, the water sometimes spreads over all the floor and just inside this, the shower there's a little bit of a slant down that the water drains to. You pull the shower curtain around just like I'm doing over here and then you have your shower and once the shower is over, um, you take sort of like a mop and you push all the water that came out from underneath the shower curtain on the bathroom tiles uh, back in to the shower so it can go down the drain. All right, now we have Nicholas from Helsinki, Finland. And um, I like the sauna place that you can have um, a sauna at your own house and then you can lie down. So I thought that was kind of cool and then I want that in my house. 
Yeah, me too. So we can have Japanese bath and finish sauna. Yeah. Here we have a finished bathroom. We have the washing machine, the dryer, the sink, the toilet, the shower, and many Finnish bathrooms have a sauna, like this one. Here's the stove, and here you put it on, put it on for 20 minutes, and then you can throw water on the stones and sit here and enjoy. This is pretty much how a Finnish bathroom can look like. Next up is PG from Sweden. And um, I thought um, the toilet um, was outdoors, um, out of your house. So I thought that was kind of, not weird, but kind of like something not normal. And um, for Japan, and um, the toilet was so small. Well, it's a summer cabin, so it's not his everyday house. Yeah. Where I am from, Sweden, this is what a bathroom can look like. During summer and the summer vacation, it has been a tradition to have your own sommarstuga, a summer cottage, where you go to relax. It is usually situated away from the city, and here's the thing. It's very, very basic. Uh, back to nature type of thing. These days you get electricity and maybe running water, but it's supposed to be a bit um, old school. And that includes the toilet. So it's not unusual to find that when you have to go, you have to visit a bathroom like this. And this is what a summer bathroom in Sweden might look like, 2016. Next is Vicky from Warsaw, Poland. And she has a laundry machine in her closet, in her bathroom. Yeah. Hmm. Hello world, where I'm in from Poland, this is what a bathroom looks like. We don't really have a shower, or we only have a shower and not a bathtub. We have this thing here, this wand, with which you can shower, but you can't really put it anywhere. Here is the laundry basket, and here is a mirror. If you have an animal, the bathroom is a place where you can also keep the place where the animal, animal goes to the toilet. And usually in a bathroom, we also keep the washing machine. This one opens up. This way. From the top. The other thing you have to know about a Polish bathroom is that usually it doesn't have a toilet. Usually the toilet is a different place than the bathroom in Poland. I want to know what the bathrooms look like where you're from. Okay, next is Vivian from Eslohe, Germany, or something like that. Mm. And what about it? Um, I like the laundry thing. If you open it, you can put laundry and then it's like, like downstairs there's a, I don't know, but there's a basket thing and then it might go in there. And I thought that was cool. The laundry chute. Yeah. Hello world, I'm Vivian and I'm from Germany. And this is what my bathroom is like. I think it's not typical German because it's very big. I want to do this. Up. And I can push it to this. <laughs> and the special thing is here. This. And here's a shower. And for hot and cold water. And for the water. Heating. Trash. Cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff. Toilet paper and the toilet and decoration and this thing I can put dirty clothes and towels into this it's a bath I think the most people in Germany use the shower because it's faster and not everyone especially the people who live in the flat 
hasn't happened about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Next is May from Cambridge, England, and um, uh, May's mom was um, like I um, in the video. She she was saying um, like um, her mom read books in the shower and then sometimes like wash stuff in the bath. Wash her clothes. Yeah, yeah, wash her clothes, and I thought that was kind of cool. We have this family bathroom, a downstairs loo, and an ensuite in my mum's room. But sadly, we're not allowed to go see. If you wanted to have a bath, you would run the hot water tap, and after you've run your water, you can put some lush, lush in. After you've dropped it in, you can wash your body using body wash, like this. When my mum's in the bath, well she's, she's done all that, she likes to just sit down and read. This thing is to clean the outside of the toilet. And this is what you, and you do that to it and then some things to keep the germs away go into the toilet so when you flush it there's a nice colour this is our washing liquid for mum, my mum's dresses so if you were to hand dry hand clean dresses you would run some water and then pour some of this in and then you would put the dress in and go squish it and then put it on the towel, fold it over and then hang it up. Once you've finished on the loo, you come over here and wash your hands using water and soap. We like using shrubby laser soap. <sighs> Thank you for watching our video. Water bath is like where you're from. Bye! Next is Alexandra from Antigua, Guatemala. It was so big, and like I thought it was cool because there's a like a rack, not a rack, like stuff to put your stuff. Um, and the closet, yeah, closet, and then it has a big um bath, and then shower room, and there's a tank for water, and I thought it was big and cool. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra, and this is what bathrooms are like in Guatemala. This is the bathroom shared by the kids' bedrooms. And over here we have a bidet. This isn't super common where we live, but the owners of our house really like them, so they installed one. Over here we have a shelf, shelf unit with hair things and jewelry. And up here we have a window and it has bars for security. So here's the third and final bathroom in our house. So we come over here and we have two sinks, one for each of our parents. Then we have the toilet and then we have a bidet in here as well. And here outside the window is a view of a volcano, which is really nice. Then over here we have the shower which has a bath mat in front of it. And the shower is all tile inside. And with some glass here. And here is the bathtub. There's only one in the house and it's in this bathroom. And there's also a nice window. And here we have a medicine cabinet. And we have some nice architectural features here. This is the closet which is attached to the bathroom. And here we have a water filter because we can't drink the tap water. So if we want water while we're up here, we can just get it from here. We also have this drain here for if the bathtub floods. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. And I'd just like to say how much 
I love your channel and all the cool videos that you post. Bye. Jaden Lee. And he is from, let's see, Temecula, California, USA. I like the, um, the decorations. It's kind of cool. I'm from Temecula, California, all the way in the United States of America. And this is what a bathroom is like, or at least it's what mine looks like. I tried to be fancy and decorate. Just decorations, big old mirror. Hello. <laughs> Medicine cabinet with cologne, basically cologne and toothpaste is all that's in there. More decorations. Uh, I tried to be cool. Lots of decorations. Nothing crazy, just a shower head. There's the little nozzle. Basically you just twist that and the water comes out here. And when you want it to turn into the shower, you pull this thing and the water comes out from up there. So basically this thing is what switches it. You can't do it, it's kind of hard to do it, but yeah, see? And then if you want to take a bath, you just close that, but it's really hot, so I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> the water gets hot really quickly, so you have to be careful. So yeah, that's my bathroom. Uh, what are bathrooms like where you're from? Next is Wendy from Toronto, Canada. And what about her bathroom? Um, it was kind of beautiful. Where I'm from, this is what a bathroom can look like. Usually you would find if you don't, you share a bathroom, like in our household, you would have two sinks and they would call that a double sink. But because our home is smaller, even though we share it, we only have one sink. I like to keep makeup in here and my skin products. And he likes to keep his hair products and things that he needs in the morning, like his deodorant. What I find interesting is the medicine cabinet that you don't normally find in Asia. Now, the toilet is not in a separate room like your uh, bathroom. We do have two buttons here, one for small waist and one for larger waist. This is a shower. Now, this used to be a big tub that can, you know, fit me in it, lying down very comfortably, but uh, because my husband's from Hong Kong, we don't take baths as much uh, as a normal household, so we decided to go for a shower. Uh, for some reason, Chinese people think it's dirty to sit in a tub. This is something really popular right now. It's called a rainfall shower head, and a rainfall shower head is actually supposed to go into the ceiling. And then when you shower, it feels like rainwater coming down, so it's very relaxing. That's it. That's my that's my uh, bathroom. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks for making videos, Greg and Iko. <laughs> Oh, oops, we forgot to record a few things. So one was that we noticed the bathrooms in Indonesia and the Philippines are kind of similar to the ones in India. Take a look. Hello, I'm Pedro. So in this video, I'm going to show you how, how is bathroom in Indonesia. Basically, our bathroom are all wet. <laughs> and we usually change our sleeper. This is the sleeper looks like. So, in this one, we usually did shower, pee, pooping in this thing, and usually we we brushing our tooth here. We have the mirror and our sink, and down here we have the toilet. This is what we call in English a pail and a dipper. Instead of a shower, we have this for our baths. I think it's another unique. Filipino thing is this rocks. We actually got this from the seaside or in the beaches. We use this to scrub our body to remove all the dirt. Thank you very much for watching. Another thing we found was that Japan was the only place that we saw that had covers for the bathtubs. We cover like this um, uh, for, next, for the next person to use the bath. Something interesting in Malaysia was that they had a shower head attached to the faucet, which I've never seen before. At my place, we have bathtub, shower head, but some house don't have bathtub. And the craziest shower slash bath was found in India. Take a look. This is a bathtub. You can open it and it's more of a jacuzzi than a bathtub. So we don't use it a lot, so it's pretty clean. 
And thank you for making the bathroom videos and um, we liked it. Thank you so much. It was so cool to see. Yeah. And uh, one more. We want to make you two more videos. And one is breakfast. And one more is your holiday. Um, how do you like... Do you holiday? Like? Yeah, how you celebrate, whether yeah. it's Christmas, New Year's, or any other thing you do for your holidays. Yep. Yeah. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Done. 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 People done. People done. Yeah.